From the single-use coffee cups we toss to the mountains piling up in landfills, it's become a defining symbol of our modern age. But what if I told you there's a natural, sustainable alternative lurking beneath our feet? Mycelium fungus, the hidden hero that might just be the plastic of the future. Plastics have been a game changer in manufacturing, but their widespread use has led to significant environmental issues. About 91% of plastic isn't recycled, and we ingest around 5 grams of microplastic waste in our food each week. A potential solution lies in mycelium technology, using fungus as a sustainable alternative to plastic. Unlike the variety of plastics we encounter, they all fall under the category of polymers, large molecules made up of repeating subunits. The development of synthetic plastics, like Bakelite in 1907 and polymers in 1920, gained momentum during World War II. After the war, plastics became widely used in consumer products, with the 1950s introducing popular ones like polyester and polypropylene. While plastics have made life convenient with their low cost, water resistance, and durability, their overuse, non-recyclability, and long-lasting nature have resulted in severe environmental problems. For instance, 100 billion plastic bags are discarded in the U.S. each year. The slow degradation of plastics and the release of toxic chemicals when burned further contribute to environmental harm. Enter mycelium, the underground network of fungi responsible for mushroom growth. This natural organism offers a sustainable alternative to plastic. Think of mycelium as the root of the fungi with the mushroom being its flower. This mycelium technology presents exciting possibilities for creating eco-friendly products, possibly even in the realm of wearable technology. It's a promising avenue to explore for a cleaner and more renewable future, reducing our dependence on harmful plastics. Mushrooms we eat are just a small part of a bigger organism called fungi. Fungi play a vital role in ecosystems by recycling nutrients, making them available to plants and other organisms. They're tough and can spread easily with just a few spores. The interesting part is that before mushrooms grow, fungi build an extensive network underground called mycelium. We can use this mycelium potential by guiding its growth into specific shapes. Instead of letting mushrooms pop up, humans can shape mycelium into predictable structures by providing a framework. For example, Creating bricks from mycelium involves a simple process. Agricultural waste, like hemp or wood chips, is mixed with mycelium structures to create a base material known as the foam. This mixture is placed in molds for various products and then placed in a controlled environment with specific CO2 levels, humidity, airflow, and temperature. In about a week, the mycelium foam fills the mold. Mycelium foam has great qualities. It's a good insulator, strong, safe, and biodegradable. This opens up possibilities for various products like packaging, clothing, construction, and even food. Unlike plastics that take hundreds of years to break down, mycelium-based products naturally degrade after their intended use. Mycelium foam is also cost competitive with traditional foam. Companies worldwide have embraced mycelium technology, with Ecovative being a pioneer. They introduced mycelium technology in 2006 and hold many patents. Their Mycoflex trademark technology produces a range of products, from insulating lofts to foams for footwear. For packaging, mycelium-based solutions are an eco-friendly alternative to polystyrene using less energy and producing fewer CO2 emissions. Several companies around the world license this technology, like the Magical Mushroom Company, Paradise Packaging Co., Grown Bio, and Biofab. Even IKEA plans to replace styrofoam packaging with mycelium-based mycocomposite for all its products. Ecovative has also created Atlas Food Company, making plant-based meats using mycelium. These products have minimal processing and mimic the texture of animal muscles, making them a unique option in the plant-based meat market. Guess what? There's a cool technology called Milo Trademark that Bolt Threads uses to make a sustainable alternative to leather. Some big names like Adidas, Kering, Lululemon, and Stella McCartney are partners with them. Adidas even launched the Adidas Stan Smith Milo, the first shoe made with a material from mushrooms, featuring it in the classic three stripes and other shoe details. Now you might wonder, is the fungus still alive in these products, and could it keep growing? Well, for most things you buy, the mycelium is heated before it reaches you, so it's not alive anymore. No worries about your shoes growing on you, but wait, there's more! Mycelium isn't just for packaging, food, and clothing. It's making its way into the building industry, too. A UK startup called Biome is creating mycelium insulation panels, making it the world's first officially recognized mycelium insulation product. 
It's amazing how this mushroom technology is popping up everywhere. This company makes mycelium rigid insulation panels in standard sizes, but they can also make custom sizes for different projects. Mycelium is not only better for health and safety, but it's also superior to plastic-based construction materials in terms of keeping a space warm and quiet. Tests show that mycelium panels absorb at least 75% of road traffic noise. An added bonus is that if there's a fire, mycelium doesn't produce harmful toxic smoke like synthetic materials do. However, using mushrooms as a strong building material still needs more research. Mycelium isn't as strong and durable as traditional materials like concrete. For instance, concrete can withstand a lot of pressure, but mushroom bricks can handle much less. Back in 2014, an architectural team called The Living made history by designing the world's first tower made of mushroom bricks. They used 10,000 bricks grown in molds and tested them to withstand weathering. It reached an impressive 40 feet tall. So while mushrooms might not be as strong as concrete yet, they're showing promise in creative and sustainable building designs. The folks at The Living, who built the world's first mushroom brick tower, found that after three years of testing, the mycelium material held up just as well as when it was new. Another cool project was the growing pavilion for Dutch Design Week, a temporary space made with mycelium panels on a wooden frame. Now let's talk about the pentafecta. A fun word, right? It's all about mycelium and wearables, not just clothing, but wearable technology. A study explored using fungi for bio-wearables, envisioning Fitbit-like devices with processors made from mushroom mycelium. Researchers tested oyster mushroom mycelium, finding it could recognize things like temperature, moisture, light, and even electrical signals. Like a living sensor, the potential is huge, especially with the global mushroom market expected to reach $86.6 billion by 2025. Governments banning plastic use, like in Maine, could boost mycelium-based products, especially in packaging. While some places might find the costs a bit high for now, as economies grow and governments support eco-friendly options, mycelium products could become more widespread. So, what do you think? Any cool uses of mycelium I missed? Would you want a home insulated with mycelium? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more.